Chapter 12, Companions Dogen Rhonda Sweat coursed all over my body because of the sweltering heat in Karasthia. Mayo and Piper were also feeling the sudden temperature change. Piper has even tied her hair now into a bun, and I could only attribute that to this heat. The ground shook mildly. This was still new to us, and we were forced to stop and bend our knees to stabilize our positions. Don't move, I instructed. It's nothing. Just a minor tremor. Mayo's face reddened, and I wasn't sure if it was because of the heat or because he was scared. Piper was eyeing the volcanoes that surrounded us. Look! She yelled. Isn't that volcano spewing off lava already? I turned around and saw the second tallest volcano in Karasthia. Clouds now obscured its peak, and it was hard to say if lava really had started to flow already. The ground continued to shake. I don't see it, I said. This feels like the apocalypse. Mayo said. I think it's time we admit to ourselves that this entire journey was a mistake. If ever I get hold of the dragon's egg, I'm going to throw it into the mouth of Mount Kablu. I could sense his annoyance. Not a mistake yet, I said. We came here to try and look for the last dragon's egg, and that's what we should be doing. More like getting scorched. Mayo bellowed. This is the way of Karasthia. That's why this is the land of volcanoes. But don't worry, the volcanoes are not going to erupt. We can traverse the ridges to reach our destination. Mayo laughed. Where exactly is our destination? He said sarcastically. At least, he wasn't sour now. The last dragon's egg, Piper said in exasperation. She sounded as tired as she looked. I stopped when I heard some rustling. Remain still, I said. I think we're not alone. I could almost feel them, my brothers, the tree runners. Follow me, I said. Then I started running north to where I sensed the movements. A few hundred yards later, I stopped. I was already drenched in my sweat. I lost them. After making me run like that? Mayo complained. You want to be a soldier, I said. Consider today as your training day? Should you enlist as a palace soldier, you will have to train a lot harder than that. Piper's eyes rounded, and she let out a gasp. I turned around to see what she was looking at and found myself staring at fellow tree runners. Brother! I exclaimed. There were three of them. They all looked the same, and it was quite difficult to put an age on them because of their skin. When they spoke, I noticed their voices differing levels of hoarseness, which revealed their age. I am Amenoros, the tree runner said. Kokoros is the short one, and Sidos is the other. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Amenoros, Piper said. She extended her hand, and I watched as the tree runner's large ones covered her little hands. Is it true then? I asked. If you're here, does it mean that there really is a last dragon's egg? And are you really protecting it? You're being rude, Dogen, Piper said. Allow me to do the introductions. I am Piper San Diego. This man is Dogen Ronda. And that over there, she said as she pointed to where Mayo was, is Mayo Kolo. I was still staring at the one who called himself Amenoros, waiting for him to respond to my question. We are here to meet our brothers because we have strayed away from them. We just arrived in Karasthia, and we had to meet you because we wanted to know why you were trailing after us. His eyebrows were thick and drooping, making the tree runner look kind. His low throaty voice also added to the seeming meek demeanor. I sensed you, brothers, I said. We were just exploring Karasthia too, and there had been news that the emperor was looking for the last dragon's egg. I didn't know what to make of that, but seeing you here now leads me to believe that you know something about the last dragon's egg. The last dragon's egg is of no concern to Akins, Amenero said. He then turned and started walking away. It was unusual for a tree runner to be so rude. Pardon me, brother, I said. I will not speak about it anymore. But will you join us? The night is long, and we don't know what creatures lurk in this place. Amenero's and his two companions stopped, and after a short huddle, they walked back to join us. 
I was able to breathe slightly easier after that. But it puzzled me what they were doing in Karisthea, and I knew there was something more to discover for my brothers. Thank you.